Waiting for a massive cleanup, crews have been working since overnight clearing out the parkway after the Made in America Festival. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe. It was an early morning for crews cleaning up after the Made in America Festival. The two day festival brought an estimated 50,000 fans to Philadelphia, and that means there's 50,000 people to clean up after. By daylight, you could see just how much trash was accumulated. This was the 10th year for the festival, but it was canceled last year because of the pandemic. And this year, it came just days after the remnants of Hurricane Ida flooded parts of the city, including nearby apartment buildings, forcing evacuations. A real contradiction right there in front of you. Of of the show must go on and hear people that are, you know, under, you know, that may be, you know, I don't know how long they may be out of their uh, apartments. I don't know that it would have done any good to cancel it. I mean, some people are suggesting that that would have been a more sensitive approach, but. I don't know that it would have done any good to cancel it. The artists included Justin Bieber, Meek Mill, Lil Baby, Megan Thee Stallion, and Doja Cat. The organization behind the concert says over the last decade, it brought in over $135 million in revenue to the city, and each Labor Day weekend employs thousands of city residents. With the ongoing issues, Mayor Jim Kenney defended the decision to go along with the festival. I think it's good for the city uh, to have this kind of event uh, so we can celebrate a little bit even in the midst of potential tragedy. Uh, and, uh, you know, Jay Z, Beyonce, the Beebs is coming. I mean, it's, 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 it'll be fun. It'll be fun for a change. It's, it'll be nice to have some fun, wouldn't it? Now, it's not clear when the parkway and other nearby streets will reopen. In addition to the trash, they also have to disassemble three stages that were built for the festival. Howard Monroe, CBS 3, Eyewitness News.